Today's vlog is about colored wood. A lot of trees drop their leaves in the winter time and then they expose their branches. Some of them are colored and we will take a look at some very nice ones today. This is Asa capillipes, or also called in English the snake bark maple. And it thanks its name to its bark, as you can see, of course, because it really looks like the skin of a snake. Uh, the tree is uh, originated from uh, Japan and uh, it uh, doesn't grow very fast. It gets up to five to uh, seven uh, meters when it's uh, mature. Uh, usually it grows as a shrub and these ones are uh, grown as a tree. Uh, the crown uh, is a broad vase form when it gets uh, more mature. Uh, the young shoots, the one-year-old shoots, are uh, reddish uh, green and also the young buds are very red. It's a very attractive tree, Aser capillipes. Is this subject interesting to you? Then press the like button. Right now we're looking at Sephora Japonica Golden Standard, or actually Stifnolobium Japonica Golden Standard, because uh, recently the first name of this uh, tree has changed. Um, normally it has yellow leaves in the summertime, it already dropped its leaves now, and uh, then you can see the yellow wood that's appearing now. It will stay yellow like this through the whole winter. Uh, so it's a real good eye catcher in a big garden or in a park. Uh, because it has yellow leaves, it doesn't grow as fast as normal uh, Sephora Ponica does. So it will grow up to uh, six to 10 meters uh, in height. Very nice eye, eye catcher, Stifnolobium Japonicum, golden standard. We're looking at a nice specimen of Salix alba germachina. And germachina uh, has very orange-red shoots, as you can see here. And the more you prune it, the more those shoots will appear. Also, the older wood uh, gains its yellow color in the wintertime. Um, you can also use it as a pollarded uh, specimen, as a high stamp specimen. But uh, it, it gets up to uh, 10 to 15 meters uh, in height. And it's a real eye-catcher during the wintertime. We're looking at Aso Negundo Flamingo. Aso Negundo Flamingo thanks its name to its leaves because uh, the center of the leaf is green and the rim around it is uh, pinkish white, like a flamingo color, that's uh, why it's got that name, uh, I think. Um, it's a Dutch cultivar, it uh, doesn't grow very fast. It, uh, when it's mature, it gets up to five to seven meters. So these uh, ones that are standing here are quite uh, mature already. And when the leaf drops, the one-year-old shoots uh, are covered with some kind of uh, yeah, grayish uh, purple wax that you can also uh, wipe off. Asa Negundo Flamingo. This is Tilia Cordata Winter Orange. This is a Dutch uh, selection and uh, you can see it has very orange wood. And especially the one and two-year-old uh, shoots are very orange. It will uh, grow a bit uh, less fast than normal Tilia cordata. It will grow up to eight to 10 meters and for the rest, the uh, characteristics are the same as with normal Tilia cordata. Tilia cordata, winter orange. You're standing in a plot with some populous canessens, Witte van Haamstede. Witte van Haamstede is an old Dutch selection and uh, it has some very nice characteristics. As you can see here, the eyes on the trunk and also the trunk is very gray, as you can see. Um, it's an ideal tree to grow on the coastline. It can withstand very stormy weather and it's also very good with a lot of salty sea uh, spray. Uh, nice strong tree, Populus Knessens Witte van Haamstede. Thanks for watching this vlog about colored wood. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you next time.